In this problem, I have a T-beam, which is subjected to a vertical force, V, uh, that is equal to 29 kN. I want to determine the max, the, the value of shear stress at point H, which is located 30 mm above the bottom surface of the beam. This is a very typical problem in shear stress analysis, and we are using the basic equation for shear stress, which is VQ over IT. In this problem, V and I are given, and I need to determine how much is Q and how much is I. Um, first, I need to determine what is Q. Um, the point of interest here is H, and I need to calculate Q for this hatched area. You may want to calculate Q for the part of section which is located above point H, but that should give you the same number. Q is calculated as A times D, which A is area of that hat section, and D is distance of the centroid of that section to the centroid of the entire section. Area is simply 30 times 5. To determine D, I should note that the location of centroid of section is 54.4 millimeter above the bottom surface of the beam, and the centroid of the hatch section is located 30 over 2 or 15 millimeter from the bottom surface of the beam. So D can be calculated as 54.4 minus 15, which is equal to 39.4 millimeter. That gives me Q equal to 150, which is area times 39.4, which is D, and the final value of Q would be 59.10 millimeter cubed. The other parameter that I need to determine here is the thickness. Thickness, as shown in this figure, is the thickness of the cut section. So, in this case, the cut section is very simple. I can determine the thickness of that very easily. As shown in this figure, the thickness of the cut section at point H is a 5 mm, so T is a 5. Now I'm ready to go and plug the values into this equation. So shear force is 29 kilonewton, which is equal to 29,000 newton. Q is a 5910. I as given in the problem statement is 398 and 300 millimeter to the fourth and the thickness is a five millimeter. So the value of shear stress at point H would be 86.06 megapascal. And that's the final answer of this problem.